Good day, everybody. My name is Akis Paul Akrenua. So I'm here to explain how your network booster works, especially if you're in an area where you don't have high network, especially where you're in an area you don't have high network. So in this a complete setup of network booster, you have your outdoor antenna, you have your repeater station, you have your indoor unit. Let me start from the outdoor antenna. The outdoor, this particular type is omnidirectional, meaning that while installing it, it must be perpendicular to your surface like this. It comes with which, which you can use to tie it. You have the other type that is sectional, but this is omnidirectional, you must make it face up. And this particular antenna has a gain of between 10 to 12 decibel. It has a running frequency from 8, 698 to 960 and 1710 to 2700 frequency. So how do you connect it? This will definitely come with your network booster. These are how do you do You connect it like this. We call this particular connector SMA to NTC connector. This upper part is NTC mail, while the lower part is SMA. And it's meant for radio frequency signal. So I connect it like this, connect it like this. This is for illustration purpose. If not, this is for illustration purpose. If not because of illustration purpose, it should be as long as up to 20 meters. Then you now connect it to your BTS on the network booster. The BTS stands for Base Trans Receiver Station. Connect it to your BTS, I've connected it. The next thing you do is if you are connecting only just one single network booster, one single indoor unit in your network booster setup, all you need to do is you connect it to this other side. Your power cable, a 12 volt power cable, you connect your 12 volt power cable to 12 volts. The light is up, and I will connect it like this. After connecting it like this, I raise it up. Can you see that we have our network? But in this particular setup, in this particular setup, we want to connect two. We want to connect two indoor units, but we are using our splitter, our TNC splitter. This splitter can run at frequency 800 to 2000. 500 megahertz. You will notice that it's still within the range, operating range. I will untie it here. If I'm using only one, this is a four-way splitter for voice network booster. These are our SMA to TCN connector. But if you want to buy it in the bucket, here in this environment, they call it voice connector. The next thing I will do now is there is another one that is this SMA to TNC, but this SMA to SMA. I will remove this mobile unit. I will connect it here. Start connecting it. I will now connect my splitter here. You must ensure that it's well tight. Next thing I will do now is this as the main terminal. I will connect it to the female. I'm just using this cable for illustration purpose. For your normal site work, you can make it up to the length of your distance. I will carry my blade. You will notice that it's a little slight different from normal DSTV extension. You know, if it's in DSTV extension, you bring all the strands out, but in this setup, you don't need to bring it out. I'll just make sure that it fits inside. Same process. I will repeat it at the other end. 
Where's my other connector? You can use your black tape to make it firm. And you can use your spring like this to make it tight. So the next thing is I'll put it to connect to my first indoor unit. And note the operating frequency of my indoor unit is a little different from the outdoor unit. The operating frequency of your indoor unit is can you see? Is it? is from 880 to 2635 MHz and the indoor unit has a gain of 2 to 3 decibel First side, I'll connect it here. So it means this. This is just for illustration for people. And you must ensure that your indoor unit is facing downward. Tie it up. You must ensure your indoor unit was not fixed like this. Also, like this. it must face downward so that it can beam your signal around. Oh, you're facing downward. And the second one, I can use it at any point. Like we all we have the four way splitter. Let me see if I can see the two way splitter. How two way splitter looks like. And this is how the four way splitter looks like. So now, after your connection, I'll power this. I can now check it from my phone and have my 2G network, my 3G network, and my 4G network. So thank you very much. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please ensure you subscribe. My name is Ruben and this is for like On YouTube, just press installer port. On Facebook, just press Akinu Sipol Akinu. Same on Instagram. And you can reach me on my phone number 080-380-15711. That's for people in Nigeria. And for, for those that are outside Nigeria, add plus 234, which is my actual code, 080 380 Thank you very much.